I'm Rachel Padilla. I'm an artist. For several months, I've been experimenting with alternative printing processes, like cyanotype. My thought had been that I would be able to photograph some of my larger works, like paintings and uh, mixed media, and make prints of them, but not just any print, a print that I still have uh, my hand in along the way, and making prints that are each their own unique and individual piece of art at the end. Um, for example, this piece. This is a cyanotype that I cannot show you the, the whole thing um, because of YouTube guidelines, but this original painting is about four by five feet. It's not exactly approachable and accessible to everyone, but something like this individually unique cyanotype is more approachable. Um, as I've become more comfortable with the cyanotype making process, I realized that I could make unique individual um, things to photograph and then photograph them and turn those into cyanotypes, making a completely original piece of art that exists only as a cyanotype. There's a lot of processes involved in it, and I could try to explain it to you, or I could just show you. My first process begins with plywood, cutting and shaping it into the desired shape. I first began using plywood as a substrate for paint and for building various art projects because of its potential in versatility. It is an excellent art supply. I can draw directly on the surface of plywood. I can reinforce it with other materials or attach it to new surfaces. And I can fill the scars of the construction to be invisible if I wish. With the construction of my initial components complete and their surfaces smooth, I can begin the process of applying paint on both the back and the front. Of all the processes I use to create a piece of art, I think painting is probably still my favorite. With the application of color and a few well-placed brush strokes, I can bring something to life. With my custom made Finn and Jake completed, it's time for the photo shoot. 
it always requires a lot of uh, setup and a lot of supplies to do a photo shoot. I need lights, reflectors, and in this case, for my Finn and Jake paintings or cutouts or painting cutouts, I need additional tripods. I've attached a mount on the bottom so that they can stand up independently on tripods. And then I will get them into their places. Um, but this is really kind of the whole point of this entire project. Bringing these wonderful beloved characters into a painting of my own distant land. With my photos taken, I need to find a more efficient way to print multiple cyanotypes at a time. What I have been using is a board that's not much bigger than eight and a half by 11 and a piece of plexiglass that's about the same size. Unfortunately, the plexiglass has gotten really scratched up, so I want something that's a little more durable, so I'm going with glass and the glass is 18 by 24 and that is the same size that my board is so i'm going to just put some gaffers tape along the edges to protect the glass here but this size will allow me to use the sun's power to print four cyanotypes at a time With my photo negatives ready to go, I need some eye paper. So I either have to work in very low light or red light, as is the case today, um, to mix my part A and B cyanotype mix and get that thinly onto my paper. I've done some experimentation with different types of paper, uh, but I do find that printer cardstock works really well. Now I'm going to load my cyanotype paper that has had time to dry and my photo negatives. A perfectly sunny day would be ideal for this but the skies have been mostly cloudy lately. So I'll wait. I only need like a five or six minute window of sunshine. This is it. I'll get these outside quickly before another cloud rolls in front of the sun. I literally only need about five or six minutes of good sun exposure to develop these cyanotypes. Now for the rinsing. I use a small pan of water with a little bit of vinegar in it and then I will agitate for about a minute until uh, most of the blue cyanotype has run off of the paper and the print is pretty clear. And last, these just hang to dry. The final result being a world that doesn't really exist, but wouldn't it be wonderful if my desert and Finn and Jake could hang out? Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>